I love it when a movie makes me scream warnings at imaginary people. In the taking of Deborah Logan, a mother and a daughter agree to take part in a study about Alzheimer's, inviting a group of college students into their home to film them. Well, as the mother begins to slip into this disease, a different kind of transformation begins to take place. This is a shocking, well-written, nicely acted horror movie that shows you how to do found footage. Sarah moves back home to take care of her mother because her Alzheimer's is beginning to progress. Mia and her film crew also move in because they're doing a study about how this disease affects the patient, but also the primary caregiver. Deborah's disease takes a sudden and jolting turn for the worse, but her behavior and the incidents around it just can't be easily explained by medical science. Sarah, Mia, and the film crew begin to fear that her changes, this transformation, isn't just physiological or psychological, but the cause is supernatural. Concern gives way to fear, and medical science fails in the face of an ancient terror. When a film gets me jumping in my seat and cursing at characters, that's when it's a well done horror movie and this one definitely fits the bill. It also makes excellent use of first person shots. I felt like I was in the film. I was seeing with my own eyes what was going on because the use of the little iPhone cameras and over the shoulder rigs just were perfect for a horror film. I mean, when it needed to be blurry and what was that off the side, it worked perfectly. But when I needed the monstrous stuff, the nastiness to be crystal clear, it was. And even the panoramic stuff that we usually get in these films, those surveillance shots, help set the mood for this movie. Now you may think you know a possession story when you hear one, but trust me, this one's going to get you. It's a completely original take on that idea that delivers all new scares and all new shocks. There were gross out moments that had me wincing, and I've seen and reviewed some pretty nasty stuff for you guys, and I was even kicking away from my television because the scares were getting to me that bad. There's also a nice level of witty and relatable, believable humor here amongst the cast that I was interested in the film even when the supernatural stuff wasn't going on. This movie begins as the film student's documentary on Alzheimer's before it changes into something a lot worse. Now this is such a nightmare of a disease that if they glossed over it, I actually would have been a little offended. I mean, you gotta take this to heart. But instead the movie shows how the disease affects people, the different symptoms they can have. It even explains it and I thought that was a nice touch. Now, when this movie goes from documentary to a horror film, it's in one moment, it's going to immediately grab you, and you're going to be in for the ride. The cast here, from the loving and strong daughter to Mia and her film crew, all work to keep me interested in every frame, every little plot twist and turn that this film goes through. And Deborah kept freaking me out. If you don't think a sweet older woman with a wonderful smile can trouble you to your very soul, you've never seen The Taking of Deborah Logan. I've watched a lot of horror movies for you guys, you know, wanting to find those rare gems, but only a few of them have actually really scared me, and this is one of them. So when you want to watch a movie that scares you in your very own home, catch this student film that's so terrifying, it's worth watching.